राधे राधे एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस विद यू थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट डैक्स बेस्ड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन विच वर रिसेंटली आज इन द पावर बी इंटरव्यू एट विप्रो विच इज अग एम एनसी कंपनी यू ऑल नो दीज क्वेश्चन वर प्रोवाइडेड टू मी बाय वन ऑफ माई लिंक इन कनेक्शन सो थॉट ऑफ क्रिएटिंग अ वीडियो ऑन दिस सो दैट यू ऑल गेट टू नो अबाउट इट एंड यू कैन बिकम मोर प्रिपेयर फॉर योर अपकमिंग इंटरव्यूज सो लेट्स बिगेन द वीडियो एंड बिफोर दैट प्लीज डू लाइक दिस वीडियो इट रियली मोटिवेट्स मी टू ब्रिंग मोर यूजफुल वीडियोज फॉर यू ऑल सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इफ यू न्यू टू इट एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम लर्न विद गेक्स ऑल राइट लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सो यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन आई हैव अ टेबल कॉल शॉप टेबल एंड द सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ सीनरी वॉज प्रोवाइडेड बाय द इंटरव्यूअर सो वी हैव थ्री कॉलम्स शॉप नेम टेरिटरी आई डी टेरिटरी सेल्स नाउ लेट मी टेक यू टू द रिपोर्ट व्यू हेयर यू हैव वन स्लाइसर ऑफ शॉप नेम and the table of shop name containing columns like shop name territory id and territory sales that means all the columns is included over here so the ask from the interviewer was if you select something from here from this slicer suppose we select b then i should create some measure which should give me the summation of both of these two values means in both of these two records the measure should result 60 as values so this was the ask from the interviewer to write the tags let us see how we can do that so let me create a new measure for it so i will name it as total sales equal to i will first make use of calculate function because i need to sum the total sales and put some kind of filter so made use of calculate function then i will make use of sum function to calculate my total revenue from what from territory sales done with the summation then my filter part will come filter part should contain something which should pass this particular test case so many of you might think that selected value dax function can be useful over here but that is not right because selected value will come into picture should come into picture when you want to pass some kind of value so that function will not be useful so which function should be useful over here it will be all selected and i will give the table name under the argument of all selected which is my shop table which is this If I close the bracket and see the result. Let us see if we get the right result or not. Let me pull the measure over here, and you can see we got the right result, which was 60 in both these two records, and total all also as 60. So basically, all selected will come into picture when you need to provide some kind of filter context, and at the same time you want the external filter also to work on. This is a very good use case of all selected function, and I hope you got to learn from this particular use case. So let's. move to the next question and for that let me take you to the word document that was shared by that person on linkedin so you can see on the screen this was the second question asked and the question was you have four tables that you can see on the screen activity table bridge table client table and date table activity table bridge table and client table are connected to each other you can see with one to one and with one to one relationship and this particular date table containing a single column of date is not connected with any table so the ask from the interviewer was if we have some slicer of date column from this particular table how we will pass that filter value to this particular table because these are not connected to each other and these should not be connected because if you will connect with date common column then they will create many to many relationship which is not required in the model so how will you pass the value of date if we select something in the slicer to a measure which we will create over here in this client table so whenever this kind of question comes in the interview and if you have to pass some kind of value and the table is not connected with the other tables then then the dax function that you have to answer in front of the interviewer is selected value dax function so as a candidate you should answer that so whenever we will create any measure in this client table in the filter part we will pass the values of the slicer of date column in this particular table using selected value dax function so i hope this is clear to you and this is also very frequently asked now let me take you to the third question which is very very important real time use case and very important interview question so you can see on the screen i have a table called employee table and it has three columns employee name average points week number you can also see the raw file that was provided by that person on linkedin he mentioned what was asked by the interviewer so the same kind of table i have created in power bi but i wanted to show what the interviewer asked 
he mentioned write the DAX to find the highest average points in a KPI card visual. So I should create a card visual and it should and it should show me the highest average point among these employees. So maybe many of you will think that okay, we'll just take the average of all the values and show it in that KPI card. No, that is not the right answer and that is not is expected by the interviewer. What is expected by the interviewer? Let me tell you and explain you. For that, I will take you to the Excel sheet and you see on the screen, I have the employees whose names are A, B, C, D. So the average point of A is 63.3, which is basically 50, 80 plus 60 by divided by 3, which will result 63.3. Similarly for B, it will be 100, 58 and 68 summation divided by 3. Similarly for C, 100 plus 68, which is 168 divided by 2 and that comes out to be 84. Similarly for D, it is 79. Among these, among these, which is the maximum highest average point, which is this employee C, which contains 84 as the average points. So the ask from the interviewer is how you can create a measure which directly should result me 84 in that. So this is not a straightforward question which many of you might think. This question you can only solve if your fundamentals are strong. So I hope you understood the question. What is expected from the interviewer? So let us go to that Power BI desktop and see how we can get the result. So here I will create a measure. So I will name it as highest points. So the first DAX function that you should think about over here is since we have to calculate the highest average point, so max function should be used something related to max should be over here should be used over here but since we have to go and traverse to every row of this particular employee table so the iterator functions will come into picture which works on row context and so the best function which will be useful over here will be max x function so i've used max x function now the first argument is table it takes table as its first argument very very important what kind of table i should put over here so many of you think we will just directly put the employee table and move forward no why because i just showed you in the excel sheet we need to get the distinct values of employee names which is which are only four a b c d right and how will i get the distinct values of employee name as a table which should return as a table that will be values function values function returns a single column table of unique values. So I have made use of values function and under this I will make use of employee table. So my proper table is returned from this particular argument. Now one part is done. Now next part is we need to take the average all the records where the employee name is A. Right. So for that what I will make use of I will make use of average function and average takes a column name and my column name is my average points which is this close the bracket of average close the bracket of calculate let's see if this measure works or not so i will pull a card visual and pull this particular measure which is highest points and you can clearly see we are not getting value as 84 which was expected 84 is the right answer we are getting what we are getting 74.2 and this is i think i believe this is the average of entire all the employees. So this is not the right result we are looking for. Even though our measure is looking right, still it is not working right. So if this kind of scenario is happening in your real time use cases, in your real time work, what is happening inside is your context transition is not happening. Even though your measure, your code is absolutely correct. So what is context transitioning and what is row context and how both are related? If you want, I can create a separate video for that. Let me know in the comment box if you want a video for that. But just understand over here, this measure is not working because context transition is not happening. We are able to do the row context, but the context transition which is required to get the final result is not happening. Now how to overcome that and make our context transition happen? For that, what I will do, I will replace, basically cut this part of code and I will make use of a measure which is basically av underscore point and which exactly contains the same code means i have separately created that average of employee average points the same code but created separately because we need to make this measure work and since we were directly using that code it was not working 
we created that code separately and then use that measure over here and now, now let's see if that works or not and you can clearly see now it works and we have got the right result which is 84 i hope you understood the solution share this with your friends and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you